things down. One, in Jeremiah, God realizes that Israel is in a place of discomfort. They are in Babylonian captivity. They are in a place of, of pain, of servitude. They are not in a place that they want to be. Just like COVID-19, we're in a place that we do not want to be. As a matter of fact, it seems as though COVID-19 has captured many of us in one way or another. Number two, he says, while you are in this place of discomfort, seek peace, seek peace. Do things that will bring peace to the land, peace to your family, peace to your neighbors, and peace to the people of Israel. So as godly people, as disciples of Christ, even in this place of discomfort, we seek the peace. We do seek the peace. Please, uh, please don't forget, send me your prayer request tonight. Send me your prayer request as, as we're talking about this scripture in just a moment. And then number three, he says, watch out for false prophets. In COVID-19, I've never seen anything like it. Everyone has an opinion. Everything, everyone believes that they know what God God is doing in this season. And actually, my brothers and sisters, no one knows what God is doing except God. God knows. God knows. And what we should do is trust God because here's what the word of God says. Our ways are not his ways. Our thoughts are not his thoughts. So we must trust God even when we cannot always explain it. One thing about this COVID-19, someone asked, did God send it? Listen, I don't know. But I do know wherever it came from, God allowed. And I do also know that even in spite of things that God may not have seen, that God can use it for our good, according to Romans. Romans tell us that all things work together for our good. And the last thing, this is what he tells Israel. You may be in a comfortable, uh, uh, as a, in a discomfortable place. I know that this is not a comfortable place, but he says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Be, be aware of these prophets. Be aware of these false prophets. No, I'm thinking about you. You must know this, that you are not forgotten in this season. God is not forget, he has not forgotten about us and he will not forget about us, people of God. Let's get ready to pray. Let's get ready to pray. We have uh, six or seven different areas that we're going to pray about tonight. And I want you to join me in each one of these areas as we're going to be praying. We're going to be first, we're going to be praying for our government and our government officials. We definitely need to pray for Donald Trump, who occupies the White House. If, if you're like me and you watch him sometimes, uh, you, you get confused about what are his intentions, what, what is really going on in his head, and what are the things that are coming out of his mouth. And in spite of that, just like uh, our, our speaker said, she prays for him. I definitely pray for him because he does need prayer. And I pray that his intentions would come from a pure heart and not political expediency. That's what I'm praying. I'm praying for our governor, Governor Parsons. He is a Republican. And in spite of him being a Republican, I still support him. I, I want him to make decisions not political, not aligning, aligning himself with if there's a political agendas. We're praying that our governor would make decisions that are for the best of the state of Missouri. And, and he made the decision uh, this past week to open up Missouri, in my opinion, opinion that's just too fast. However, he may know some information I do not know. Um, but we're going to pray for him and we're going to pray for Dr. Page, who is the county executive. Uh, Dr. Page made the decision this week that um, businesses and um, churches and places that usually have large gather gatherings will still have the stay in order and it's an in indefinite uh, time. So I think that's the right decision. I thank God for Dr. Page, but we're going to pray for all those government uh, officials. Two, we're going to pray for bereaved families. Write these two families down. I just came about a couple of hours ago from uh, the, the wake for one of our members 
who succumbed to COVID-19. She's our first member to die from COVID-19. Her name is Sister Cynthia Whitfield. So let's be in prayer. She was a healthcare worker. She was on the front lines, you all. And so we want to pray for that family. We know that there's all those, um, that, that grief that's going on. Sister Virgie Reed, also her funeral, her memorial will be this weekend, I believe. And, and she was a faithful member to the Prince of Peace Church. And so we want to be in prayer. And for all the bereaved families and all those families that have to, uh, have to say farewell and see you in the morning to their loved ones and they can't have services like they had before that kind of that just kind of um it makes a a, a cloud over this season and so we certainly want to pray for them we're praying for financial bl blessings there are people who own businesses particularly our our, our barbershop owners our hair salon owners um, those who have their businesses and their clothes, restaurants, they're affecting many, many of our members and people, just our friends and our families who, who are just trying to make ends meet. And we want to be in prayer for them. Anyone who, uh, who, who doesn't, who, who's unable to uh, get finances during this, this period of time, those stimulus checks, we thank God for them, but they're only going to last so long. So we're going to be praying for financial blessings, particularly for the businesses that are closed, for people who've lost jobs. Physical healing, Sister Rutherford, put that, write that name down. Sister Rutherford had an accident this week. She broke her arm, so we want to be in prayer for her. She's had, I think, surgery a couple of weeks ago, and now she's going to have another surgery, and so we're going to be praying for her, for her. We're praying also for mental healing. Depression is a real thing. Many people have been attacked with uh, depression. I don't know if you all heard about the ER doctor who committed suicide. I think she was from Philadelphia. She was on the front row, the, the front lines of this uh, the pandemic. And her father was being interviewed today. And it was just so heart wrenching of, of what his daughter went through. Uh, and and depression, depression just... Uh, overwhelmed her. So let's be in prayer for that family and for all those who in this season may be going through loneliness, uh, going through issues of depression uh, and, and anything that just the, the enemy would just attack your mind. He'll come after your mind, people of God. So we're praying for peace in the mind, physical healing, mental healing. We're going to pray for our small groups. We're praying for the increase of our small groups, for the strength of our small groups, that God will sustain our small groups, and that God will build disciples in our small groups. I want to give a wonderful shout out to our children and our youth small groups directors. They've been still leading those parents. If you don't have your kids in small groups, we want them to be a part of small groups. We'll get that information and phone numbers if you need to get in to small groups. Dr. Holmes is listening. Uh, Dr. Holmes, if you put your number on there, call Dr. Holmes. She'll help you get into a small group. So we'd love to have you. Every member, every member of the Prince of Peace Church, if anyone is on here tonight and you're not a part of a small group, we need you to get um, into a small group. We would love to have you. That's how we build dis disciples. So we're praying for the strength of small groups to increase. We're also we're praying for divine protection, the divine protection for our children, our health care workers, all of our family members, our church members, the pop church family, and uh, we're praying. We're praying for uh, this nation, and that that God would just give divine protection, and particularly in those places where people are, are trying to go back to work, businesses are starting to reopen. Um, I, I'm real kind of on edge about that, but I'm praying in, in those places where they are. Um, I just heard today that. We have gone over sixty thousand deaths. Have have uh, we've we've gone over that 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 milestone? And oh my goodness, uh, there, the, even in the midst of us going over sixty thousand, there are municipalities, cities, areas that are going back to work. You know, and so we just pray God for their safety. We're, we're praying for their safety. And then last, we, we're praying God, we're asking God for a cure to COVID-19. Uh, I'm praying that God would 
uh, please move our officials to get testing because we desperately need testing and a uh, 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 and a vaccine a vaccine a vaccine 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 uh, <clears throat> for this epidemic. Those those things are very very important. Uh, so the prayer request prayer for the Wright family, uh, Sister Shirley Hemp Hemp Hill. Pray for her family. Um, pray for the funeral home staff. Amen. We are. We're definitely praying for all of those funerals. Maisha Holmes, pray that she finished setting her house renovations, and we're praying uh, that you stay healthy. Sister Bonetta, pray for Wayne and Joseph Jones. All of them are incarcerated. All of those um, individuals who are in the uh, Missouri prison system uh, who are certainly going through and they are in confined places. So we're praying for them. Amen. Sister Benita, uplift DeMarco, who's on a ventilator from COVID-19. Amen. So put those names on your prayer list. Sister Kathy, pray for Percy Brown and family. Sir Davis is asking prayer for Sheila Isaac. Sheila Isaac. Sister uh, Sarah Davis is also praying, for, asking for prayer for healing for her family. Odell Clark, hey, Brother Odell. Hey, Brother Odell. That's a shouting brother right there. Pray for churches to reopen. We're praying for that, uh, brother. And, and, and I'm going to try to say something about that at the end of the broadcast. Uh, Dr. Harvey, we're praying for Dr. Harvey. I, she's on the front end, too. Um, seeing patients. And so Dr. Harvey, we're, we're praying for you. Uh, Sister Be Beverly Davis, pray for her daughter, Tanisha Suffins, and for migraine headaches. We pray deliverance in the name of Jesus. Sister Mary Vanarsadale, for Vanarsadale, that this is this is the reason why they don't allow me to read the names of students at graduation. Amen. Amen. So let's go into prayer. Let's go into prayer. Thank you all for joining us. We're going to pray and then uh, get ready to go to small groups tonight. Small, small groups. How are we on time? How are we on time? 650. Okay, we're going to get praying real quickly here. All right, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, for just being God all by yourself. You're wonderful and awesome, God. We pray for our government officials, Donald Trump, Father. Uh, sometimes, Father, I think we think that he needs to tone some things down. We pray against these uh, these this mentality that he's always got to attack people. Uh, we come against that. We don't need a president attacks. We need a president that will speak uh, words of com comfort during this time and give him uh, <clears throat> just, just got some wisdom in this season. And, and Father, help him to follow just the plan that he put out. Uh, for for the nation, and that God that uh, you'll 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 help his administration. You'll you'll help those who are working with him, uh, those those experts and scientists. Lord, give them wisdom, God, and clarity in the direction that they are leading our nation. We pray for our governor, Governor Parson, uh, and and his wisdom as he he's attempting to open up this state back. And and God, there's some places uh, maybe. Maybe some places are ready to be opened up, but God, there are many more places that should not open up. And I pray that he does not force uh, his powers uh, to force places that still need to be closed. Uh, thank you for Dr. Page, our county executive, and uh, for the, the mayor of the city of St. Louis. I pray for wisdom uh, for both of them uh, because they are affecting our community both in the city and in the county. And Lord, I pray, Lord, that you would just uh, uh, protect their families, God, as they are giving directives to us, Lord. And that, and that uh, the businesses and all those communities that are affected, that God, that we will follow the leadership of those that you have placed above us. Um, um, because in, in the word of God, you tell us to submit to our government authorities. And Father, we want them to be right. Father, we pray, God, for the bereaved families and particularly those who are a part of our church family. Sister Cynthia Whitfield uh, family, Sister Virgie Reed family and any others. Many, many families are dealing with uh, transition of their 
family members. And so, God, we pray all across this nation, uh, 60,000 people uh, have succumbed to COVID-19. Uh, and, and everyone, every one of those 60,000 was attached to someone that loved them, someone that cared. Uh, some some heart is broken tonight. Some some. Some mind is, is racing tonight, and I pray, God, for peace. I pray, God, especially for that physician who took her life, Lord. Uh, no one knows like she knows uh, the depression and, and just the pressure that she was under. And I pray for all those, God, who are experiencing any level of, of mental issues and depression and loneliness, Lord. The enemy just comes to attack the mind and I come against it, God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for the sensitivity of the people of God. And that is how our small groups are have been developed to help be there for one another. And so, Father, for those people who don't have any anyone, I pray that they can connect with a, a disciple of God and give us the strength, Lord, to minister to people. I pray that you bless our small groups, strengthen them, increase them, sustain them, and build them up. Th thank you for every leader, Lord. Inspire them. Keep them encouraged, Lord. And I pray, for God, for those people who've got a little despondent, even in the middle of their small groups. God, God, bring them back, Lord. There's no perfect small groups because there's no perfect persons. There's, we all have flaws and, and God, we're helping one another, God, to be better in, in you, Lord. So bless our small groups. And, and I pray, God, if there's anyone under the sound of my voice tonight who is not a part of our small groups or a part of our small groups, that they'll get connected and that they'll be able to help and pray for one another and that we can be there for one another, God, in the name of Jesus, because we grow. That's how the disciples, 12 men grew, grew in a small group of men. And God, that's how I believe you were designed for us to, to be there and grow in the word of God, in our testimonies, in our conversations, and as we as we look through the scriptures, God, we grow, Lord. I pray, God, for financial blessings, and particularly, God, for those businesses. There are so many businesses that need the uh, SBA to, to come through with the loans, Lord. I pray for favor in the banks. I pray for people to have favor who don't have lawyers working for them, who don't have accountants working for them, and those who have employees and, and uh uh, they're, they're trying to make sure that their employees are feeding, their families are taking care, of, taking care of them, God. So, Lord, get those loans through, God, in the name of Jesus. Those businesses that are closed, God, help them to be sustained. And we know, God, that many of them want to reopen, God, but I pray wisdom, Lord. Uh, I, I know that there's some financial issues, but God, uh, nothing is worth losing a life. And so, Father, we need to gather together to, to support or help God, help us to have that sense to support, uh, with it, be that it's finances, be that if it's food, whatever it is. God, we intercede for those who lost, lost jobs. And God, we want to thank you for financial blessings. We thank you for providing. We thank you, God, that the grocery stores are still open. We thank you, God, that, Lord, that you have us safe in our homes, God. We thank you for divine protection. And we claim in the name of, name of Jesus, God, according to your word, Lord, that you are a present help in the time of need. We pray for protection over our children, be that if they're with us, if they're all across the country, we provide, we pray for divine favor in the name of Jesus. We pray for every one of our health care workers. We pray for EMT workers, God. We pray for workers in the grocery store, God. We pray for all of the essential workers in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God, for our teachers who are online teaching our children, God. We thank you, God, for prayer warriors. We thank you, God, for our seniors, God. And we pray for blessings over them that you would keep them and watch over them in the name of Jesus, God. I pray for every member of the Prince of Peace Church, God, in the name of Jesus. Special favor over them. I pray for every pastor, every church that's open in your name. I pray, God, for favor. I pray, God, that you would continue to bless them and that the people will have a sense, God, to, to take, to to still <clears throat> support the things of God, even though we may not be in the church, we are still the church, God. And I pray, God, for a cure for COVID-19. I pray for miracles, God, signs and wonders, Lord. We're, we're not against science. We're not against doctors. We are so very, very grateful for them. And we think that they're working very, very hard to try to find a remedy for this issue, God. But however, God, 
we believe in divine signs, but we also believe in, in miracles. God, we, we, we believe that, God, you can right now cure this thing right now if you desire, Lord. And so we're asking God. We, we can ask God. We can ask in the name of Jesus, God. Bring testing, Lord, so that people can be more comfortable when we do come back together, Lord. And God, bring a a a a a, a, a cure, God. To, however, God, that you want to do it, do it in the name of Jesus. We pray, we pray, God, that your favor will be upon the people of God. That we'll grow, God, in your Word according to your Word. We're not disconnected from the Word, and then we'll continue to encourage one another. This is our prayer tonight. In the name of Jesus is our prayer. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. We love you. I, I, I have a few announcements for you. We are going to small groups. We want you to be in, in small groups. Please get in the small group. Sister Tia is praying. Pray for her son, David, who is in college, praying for him. Dr. Irons L. Pray for her brother, Dwight, Dwight's mother and the Jones family. So please put that. Uh, did Dr. Holmes put her number online? If not, Please give me that. A uh, few announcements I want to, to throw at you all. First of all, thank you all. We, we just celebrated this Sunday, 97 years. You, you, you still can give an offering. Several of you all did give an offering. And so, so some of you all still may want to give an offering. If you can't give the $97, just give any kind. Just sow a seed in your church. Hey, I want to say so $20, $50 on my church. Go to Prince of Peace Church, stl.com. You can go and you can go and give the five and give that, 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 that way. Listen, I'm saying this live on air, live on air. If you are a member of Prince of Peace, or you're not a member and you want a DVD or a CD of the worship service, I need you all to call Deacon Kendall Davison. We're going to give them to you for free of charge, free of charge. We'll have some at the church. If you want to come and pick them up, you can pick them up on Saturday when you come to get communion or we will try to get them to you. Call Deacon Kendall, Kendall Davison at 314-517-0905. Would you put that in? Which I'll put that in the uh, feed. Deacon Kendall Davison, if you want a CD, they are going to be free. Or a DVD, they'll be absolutely free. 314-517-0905. We had a great worship on last Sunday. This is communion weekend. So this Saturday, you can come and get your communion cup and, and partake of communion with me live on Sunday. You can partake with me on Sunday. Uh, you can come and get communion from the church between 10.30 and 11.30. And then we will have communion drive up on Sunday from 11.30 to 12.30 or 11.30 to one o'clock. Uh, I will be here as long as you all are coming. I promise you, I will be here from uh, 11.30 to one o'clock for, for drive up communion. And we will be uh, policing that. We'll be controlling the crowd so there won't be a, a, a larger than six or 10 people in the in the best of you for communion. So if you desire to to be a part of that Saturday, you can put pick that up uh, communion and and you can do that at your home if you're more comfortable that way. 10 30, 11 30, or you can come to the to the church between 11 30 and one o'clock on Sunday, first Sunday of May. Please join the small groups. Please. Join a small group. So a seed, so a seed, so a seed, so a seed on this prayer. I hope to see you all on Sunday. Your comments are so needed. I want to thank our team members who have been working very, very hard uh, for our getting our Facebook and our YouTube up and, and going. So good to see you all. So many people are asking when are we going to be back in church? Uh, people of God, I wish I had a better answer for you all. But as long as we are the church, um, the, let, let us let us realize the building is not a church. I, I want to see you all live just as much as you all want to see me. Y'all want to see me live, don't you? Don't you? Don't you want to see me live? I hope to. I hope to see you all very very soon. We're going to be very very cautious. We're going to be very very cautious about reopening the church, and so uh, we're going to do that. Uh, if if you all pay attention to the news, we're certainly going by what Dr. Page, our county executive, uh, as long as this. The county is closed. We certainly will not be reopening the church. And then even after 
uh, the county opens uh, back businesses, we still will be having conversations about when we will be opening. So, um, and what, what he said is that it's going to be indefinite. So we just really don't have any idea but I hope I hope that some I hope that to see you all for communion. It would be love. I, I'd just be blessed for you all to come. I want to ask you to do something. If you do come for the drive by, would you please have a mask and then have gloves? If you don't, we're going to try to have some here provided for you. Let's let's still be safe. Let's still be safe. We. 40%, 40% of the cases of COVID-19 in the state of Missouri is in the St. Louis area. So we need to be very, very cautious. I want you all to be cautious. All right, go ahead and get on uh, on, on to your, um, your small groups. It is good to see you all. God bless you. Love you so much. And you all take care. God bless you. Sorry, I was over a little bit tonight. Had a lot to share. Love you. Good night. See you Sunday.